So this is a student from Ghana. She says, highlight what makes you different with your unique international background rather than trying to normalize your experience to match your American counterparts. I think this point is so huge because there are so many people throughout the globe who have experiences that a lot of Americans don't have. There are some, you'll meet some of your US classmates who have never left the country, who definitely don't speak a second language, and you will have a lot of rich, rich experiences to offer and share that will make you more competitive when you're looking for jobs. Um, a student from South Korea, she says, be very positive, very optimistic, don't be afraid to challenge yourself. And also, be patient. International students can benefit from open spots late in the recruiting season. And we'll so explain this what that means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep moving. Um, a student from India, keep your eyes and ears open and don't be afraid to ask questions. From Thailand, stay focused with your long-term goal. The first job after your MBA may not be the exact one that you always wished for, but it should lay a path toward your eventual career goal. From Italy, this goes to the guys over here that were asking the volume questions. Volume counts, especially for international students. And so you can share that with as many people as you can. Um, and the last one, this is long, but I love it. This is from a student from the Dominican Republic. Believe in yourself and your preparation. If you are here, you are probably one of the best where you come from. Start preparing your story early. Improve your conversational English. It's an indication of brain power in the US. <laughs> and network like crazy. Americans don't need to be your best friends to refer you to a job. Don't be shy. Grayson, thank you very much.